and then we discussed that the central nervous system has a brain and spinal cord and important part of the brain okay let's discuss what is this part of the brain yeah this part of the brain this is four brain this is called four brain in the four brain this superficial area right this is called cerebral yes please cerebral hemisphere okay let me make a diagram from the frontal view as you see that will make it more clear if i'm standing like this and you make a section of the brain right Now this is forebrain, here it is, midbrain, here these structures, hindbrain and this structure is spinal cord. Now, Cerebral cortex is the gray matter which is present on the surface of this, right? That I will discuss later. Now, first of all, this is spinal cord. What is this? This structure? Medulla. What is this structure? Pons. And what is this on the back? Cerebellum. Now, pons, medulla and cerebellum. This is as a group called? Hind brain, hind brain, or other name for this is, other name for the hind brain is rhomban cephalon, rhomban cephalon, is that right? Then this is the hind brain, here is the fore brain, in between the hind brain and fore brain we are having this structure and this structure should be called mid brain what is it called mid brain or other name for the mid brain is mesencephalon that's very good mesencephalon so brain has rhombencephalon and mesencephalon after that, the top area is called forebrain, this top area. And this forebrain is, forebrain is also called prosencephalon, prosencephalon. Again, please listen. Central nervous system consists of brain and the spinal cord. Brain has hindbrain, midbrain and Fore brain. Hind brain is called also rhombencephalon. Mid brain is called also mesencephalon. And fore brain is called prosencephalon. Right? Then out of this prosencephalon, right, this outer part, outer part, right, this is called, for example, this outer part has a different name and this part and deeper structure has a different name. Who will tell me the name? Out of prosencephalon, there is outer part, superficial area of prosencephalon and there are deep structures of prosencephalon. The superficial structure of the prosencephalons are also called cerebral hemispheres. And these are the deepest structures of cerebral hemisphere. Now these outer structures what are they called? Telencephalon. They are called telencephalon. And what is this? Diencephalon. How you can remember that diencephalon is in and telencephalon is out? You have seen the video? That is why you are answering so well. Okay, I will ask Carlos. Mr. Carlos, how you will remember that 
telencephalon is outside and diencephalon is inside. You remember there was some princess, beautiful, charming, Diana. She was there, Rose of England. You remember her? Right. You just imagine what was happening with Diana. Wherever she was, she was the center of attention. And there were many, many telescopes from everywhere trying to not into detail. So what happened here also in central nervous system, here is Diana. And what are here? What are these? Telescopes from every direction. Do you think this image, this is a bit emotionally loaded image, can you re remember it for a long time? So Diana has to be in the center and telescopes has to be from everywhere. The beautiful princess. Our brain is also designed like that. Diencephalon is in the center and telescopes. Telencephalon is from every direction. So cerebral hemisphere in the deepest part has which structures? Diencephalon. And on outer part, what are the structures? Telencephalon. Telencephalon. Am I clear? Any question up to this? Now again, let me repeat it. That diencephalon is the deepest part of cerebral hemisphere. And what is this? Telencephalon is the outer part of cerebral hemispheres. But both of them together are called frozen cephalon. Am I clear to everyone? Right. 